Now it's sad, but it's true that people will creep in. They'll kind of see something, uh, they'll see something that God is doing, and they'll kind of come inside of that, and they'll join a group, a prayer group, or they'll host a small group in their home, or they'll start bringing some weird understanding of Scripture or some strange behavior, and they'll just kind of, you know, hey, I've got this little Bible study over here. Why don't you come with me to my other little Bible study? And they begin to bring in strange things into the church using their relationships to invite people to other things so they can expose them to some weird behavior or some teaching that they really think that people need to hear. That's different from what's being done. And usually it's innocent. You know, there, there's, it's, there's no real, they're not really trying to do anything. It appears innocent in, be, in the beginning. But my approach is if you're more excited about what the Lord is doing somewhere else, you should go where you feel the Lord is moving. 